In the second part of the problem, we want to calculate the tension in link B. Now this link is pulling the last carriage of the train, so it's pulling a mass of 8,000 kilograms. And this last carriage is going to have the resistive force of 1,500 newtons acting against its motion. Now we learned in the first part of the question that the whole train is accelerating at 0 0.5 meters per square second. Now that means that each carriage has this acceleration. We can calculate the unbalanced force giving that acceleration to our carriage using F equals ma. So we take the mass of the carriage and multiply by our acceleration and we find that the unbalanced force acting on the last carriage is 4000 newtons. If we were to look at the forces acting on that last carriage in a free body diagram, we'd be able to identify two forces. First of all, there's the resistive force, 1,500 newtons, that's opposing the motion. But pulling the carriage forward, we have the tension in link B. Let's call that T for now. And if we were to resolve them, I'm showing this in a red diagram, we'd find a single net force of 4,000 newtons is pulling the carriage forward. That's the 4,000 newtons giving us the acceleration of the carriage. Let's write that in an equation then. Our unbalanced force is equal to the tension in link B minus the friction force on the carriage. And we've got some numbers we can put in here for F and for the friction. We can rearrange this now to get an expression for T. T is simply the unbalanced force plus the frictional force. So when we add those together, we find that the tension in link B comes to 5,500 newtons.